a jeweler who I know. Uh, I have my little booklet. He bought my little booklet uh, about six months ago. He understood, because I explained to him in detail, what composite rubies were. Uh, so he was aware of them. But last month, he, a man came into a store, a good client, and had an $8,000 men's ruby diamond ring that he needed size that same day he was flying back east. He was in Phoenix, Arizona. He was flying back to Illinois or something. And asked Jerry if he could size his men's ring same day and pick it up later that day. Jerry said, fine. Jerry sized the ring and ended the pickle it went. Uh-oh. Okay. This is the result. <gasps> a 20.65 carat composite ruby. The man claimed they paid $7,000 last year for this ring. Jerry, who understood what composite would be, was listening thinking. There's a communication problem here with stores. They, they don't realize the tremendous liability they have. Fortunately, this client was very nice, had a good relationship with the store owner, the jeweler who damaged it. And he, the, the client called me also, Jerry gave him my number. I explained what happened, the client's very nice, Jerry taking care of replacing the ruby. And we're doing some experiments around replacing this ruby. We took it out of the mountain. And actually, the ruby, and well, it's not cost effective, but the ruby's currently in Thailand trying to be retreated just out of curiosity. But the, the, the ruby's going to be replaced and put back in the mezzer. So that's why this is an important issue. Here is 13 carats of composite ruby. 87 points up to 3 carats. The three things that you need to watch out for at the bench and at the jewelry store is heat and acid. And I'm not a lot of heat, and not a lot of acid we're talking about. Heat from the torch, acid from the pickle, and acid from rhodium plating process. Those are the things that are most common and going to damage a composite ruby. Here is a composite ruby before heat, and this is one minute of heat. Wow. One minute of heat with a torch. Here's another example. A carat 90 composite ruby before 30 seconds of heat with a big lighter. Oh my God. Don't flick that big. <laughs> That's the moral of that story. <laughs> okay. Jeweler's pickle. Standard jeweler's pickle. You put it in there after you work on something, you take the fire scale or two to help clean the piece off. Every piece of jewelry worked on usually goes into the pickle, even for a minute or two. This is a composite ruby before jeweler's pickle. This is a composite ruby after jeweler's pickle. About an hour, actually, in the pickle. So it's a long time in this case. Okay. This is the bottom side. Oh, God. <laughs> this, is a, this is a reflected light. That's horrible. Another pickle damage, another stone. Transmitted light. This, who can, who, Gary, tell us the process when you go to an electric plate or, or a rhodium plate, a ring that's white gold, you put it in an acid wash first, is that correct? Either acid or a cyanide wash which takes off all of the uh, organic material so you can actually rhodium plate, it'll stick to the metal then. Okay. Usually the solution is used as an acid base. And then it goes into a, a rhodium bath where it's electroplated, and that bath happens to be an acid also. This is uh, one minute uh, in from before, this is beforehand, uh, before the acid wash and rhodium plating solution, this is one minute. You don't have to be careless. You don't have to be really very careful. You can't be careful enough. And pulling it out of the mounting when it's that much glass, that might be a good idea, but try resetting it. You want to reset something that's 50% glass? <laughs> <laughs> see, see the problem it becomes? It's a nightmare no matter how you look at it. It's a good idea to pull out rubies now, maybe. You're right. But it's a problem because you may damage it putting it back in. How do you clean it up? Chris mentioned lemon. Okay, this ruby really is a lemon. <laughs> last Thanksgiving, last Thanksgiving, I, uh, I got curious about this, so I took a lemon, and uh, I live in Arizona, but lemon trees are plentiful, so it's grapefruit and oranges and stuff like that. I took a swab, a cotton swab, and swab this ruby uh, over a 48-hour period, 40 hour, 48 period of time, six times. This is the end result. This is before, that's after. Lemon juice only, swab six times in 48 hours. 
okay?